Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take multiple P5.js sketches and put them into one multi-stage sort of uh, sketch. So you can imagine this would be useful for uh, maybe a video game where you have separate stages. Maybe there's a configuration screen. Maybe there's some kind of welcome screen to whatever you're doing. Um, in my case, I'm going to make a, a separate sketch for each season of the year, and it's like a tiny little sketch that uh, does something. So let's look at those. The first one is spring. And when I save this, you can see all it does is show an image on the screen. And then when I click, it says go to summer. So I'm using mouse clicked here to tell it to go to summer. Um, of course, that's just a console log, but eventually you can imagine it would actually go to a summer scene. So let's look at that scene. Here's summer. And this is actually uh, also very simple. It's just drawing a yellow circle. It's kind of neat because I don't redraw the background. So it just gets more and more intense, which is kind of nice. And then um, mouse clicked. It's looking specifically to see if the mouse has clicked a certain distance from the center. So that means essentially I have to click on the sun for it to go to the next scene, which is uh, in this case just being represented by this console log again. And then uh, let's see what the next one would be, fall. For this one, it's uh, basically just cycling through some random fall-like colors. And this one, instead of relying on a mouse click, after 600 frames have passed, it puts a console log there that says go to winter. So that's how this one moves on to the next one. The last one is winter, and this one uses uh, a different method still, which is actually looking at the time. So it checks to see if not from frame count, but from millis, which tells the number of milliseconds since the sketch started. It's looking to see if 15 seconds have gone by, and when they have, then it's going to go to spring. So that's the whole thing. Uh, what I've done is actually made a separate file for each. You can see here I've got spring.js, summer.js, winter.js, and fall.js. To make that work, I have to, in index.html, actually add those uh, scripts, just like I do with sketch.js. And I also have to add the library manager or the library for C manager. So all of that is in my index.html, so that's all set. And what I'll do now is just copy and paste each of my functioning sketches, my separate ones that I know work, into each of those JS files. Okay, now that I've got that working, uh, I've basically just got a blank sketch here for sketch.js. Sketch I'll add my normal uh, setup and draw functions. And once I do and I save, you'll see that the, the sketch goes away over there in the canvas. And um, now I'll show you how this gets set up. So because I've installed that scene manager library, I can use um, this manager variable to create a new scene manager object. Before I do that, let me create canvas um, and make it 400 by 400. That's what I made the canvas for each of these. And before I forget, I'll go into each one of them and remove it because I, sh I only want to do that once. So let's find each of those in my four different scenes. Okay. And I've saved everything. And now um, I'm going to continue. I just want to add a couple more things here manager.wire basically takes all the things like uh, mouse clicks and all these other um, different functions that normally get handled by sketch.js and it forwards them on to each of the scenes. So we kind of just need that in there. And then the last thing is I'm going to show scene spring. So that's where it's going to start. Here in draw, we just need to do manager draw and we're finished. So this is this is it. There there are more ways that you can do this. If you look in the documentation, you can add all of your scenes in here and that way you're able to use scene uh, show next scene. So it kind of cycles through the list, but this is a good uh, starting point just to be able to go to a specific scene. So in each one of these, I'm going to have something similar to this, which goes to the next one. So let's look at spring here. Here's the way this has to get modified. First of all, it's not going to do a console log. It's going to do this other thing, which um, actually doesn't look exactly like this. 
it's a little bit different. Uh, it's this dot scene manager dot show scene. And then we'll put in the one that we want to go to, which will be summer. So I'll just copy this to the clipboard. And actually, I'll just go to each one of the files right now and change that line on each one of those. OK, and it, that's not the only thing that has changed. Actually, the, the structure of these changes a little bit. And the way it looks is we put function, spring, and then everything that was in the sketch before is going to be inside that function. So I'm just indenting to make that clear. And then for each of these functions, it's going to change to this dot function name equals function. So it's going to look just like that. Okay, and um, I think that's mostly it. So I'm going to do that to all of the other files, and then we'll try and see what's wrong, because there will be some things wrong. There's no way that all of these will just get dropped in and have no issues. So let, let me uh, do this th that same modification to each of the files. Okay, so it's all done, but I have a feeling it's not going to work. So let's see how, how close we are. So if I click, it does go to the next one, which is great. And clicking out here does nothing, but clicking on the sun does work. And this one seems to work. Every 60th frame, it's changing color. And after five seconds, it switches to the next one. I'll have to fix this. The, the uh, snowflakes are orange, so that's a problem. But uh, some 15 seconds or whatever later, uh, it should switch to spring, I think. Yeah, okay, so now I can click and we've got an issue. So it's drawing over the previous one. So let me point out a couple of other things. One is uh, what I've found is that setup is great. You know, this dot setup equals function is great for things like load image, right? We only want to have that happen one time. We don't want every time you go into the scene for it to reload this image th from the server. So that works great. For the others, I would say um, enter is better. So instead of this.setup, we'll do this.enter. And that means whatever's in here will happen every time we enter uh, that scene. So let's go with that for all these others because the loading of the image is the only one that really should happen one time. The other should happen every time we get in. So that's maybe, I don't know, maybe that'll fix a problem. But of course, winter, whoops, let me open winter again. Uh, we know that it's taking the last color from fall and it's using that as the fill color. So let's just in the enter function here, let's just change the fill color to white. So my snowflakes are always white. And let's see, where are we now? So click and click we'll wait for this and actually let me make uh winter only five seconds long so we can get through this quicker so we're in winter and now five seconds later we should be going to spring here we are, and I click, and it worked, right? So now we're in the summer, and when I click on this, it well, it's just jumping right to winter. So there's an issue there. So let's look at fall, and what I can see is that it's using frame count. Now frame count starts at zero when the sketch first runs, and then it goes up by one every frame. So by the time it makes it through all of the seasons and starts over again, frame count is way high. It's in the thousands probably. So this isn't going to work anymore. So basically, if I'm doing anything based on frame count, I probably need to have my own variable instead and increment that myself. So I'll just do, I'll call it my frame count 
and uh, I'll start it at zero and then here I'll use my frame count and same here and then of course you know my frame count doesn't get incremented automatically like frame count does so I'll have to also add one to it every uh, frame so now let's take another look I can click click to go to the next one and this will take 10 seconds and now we're in winter for five seconds and now we're back at spring so I can click click on the Sun oh it's still doing it so let's see what happened here um, my frame count oh well you know I think um, this is interesting I guess this only happens once so uh, what I really want is for that to happen every time I enter the uh, scene so I think here I should say my frame count equals zero so I'm sure that'll work let's try it one more time so five seconds into winter it should go to spring here I am and now here I am again in fall so that was it right this dot enter is something that happens every time it enters the scene so that's where we would want to reset the counter now we're in winter now you did notice uh, probably that the snowflakes were already in process in the process of falling so uh, there, I'm not going to resolve that right now but you can imagine that there's some variable here uh, again I would say y is equal to zero here so I think probably instead of setting that up here we'd want to make sure that we set it to zero every time the scene starts so I think that would probably resolve it but in any case this is um, this is it this is really all you need to add in sketch.js and then for each of these files you just uh, have to make some modifications to the functions that are in there and uh, probably some tweaking in terms of like places where you were accepting the default fall, fill color or stroke or something um, it may lead into the next scene and also any variables that you use might need to be initialized in uh, this dot enter instead of up here at where they're being declared so hopefully that makes sense and um, is useful for for your project